Hi guys, welcome. Danny here from the Magic Junk Drawer. And you guys know January 19th, it's my grandfather's birthday. He was an eight of diamonds. He was awesome. And one year, he worked for A&P, but he worked for A&P for like 200 years. <laughs> they chose him to be in the A&P flyer because he had that kind of, you know, Italian butcher look. And the week, the weekly ad, it was the Italian feast. So this is him right here in the white hat. Look at that smile. We were so proud that he was in this flyer, like it wasn't even funny. And then what was even more cool is back then A&P had TV commercials on the air. And the ad started, the commercial started with this landing on the, like on the table like that. So in the commercial, you could see him. And then, this is even more cool. I hope that you're gonna be able to see this. The ad ran through, you see that? March 6th, that's my birthday. So this was like, we were over the moon. So the Italian feast, here he is serving up, it looks like a chicken cutlet. And he's on the inside too. There he is. And it has his name. And he worked in Yonkers, New York. The butcher shop. And that was him. You see that smile? That's what he looked like always. He didn't always have those sideburns though, those chops. He got rid of them. <laughs> But that's what he always looked like, that smile. So today is his birthday, and I wanted to do a little video about him because you know, he was so funny. Last conversation I had with him, now he was healthy as a horse. He died of a massive heart attack that was totally unexpected. The last conversation I had with him, um, it was snowing, and I hate driving in the snow. I'm deathly afraid of it. It was a Friday night, and... He said to me, I spoke to him earlier in the day, he said, call me when you get home. Well, I got home and I forgot to call him, which is not like me. And he called me and he was like, oh, you got home? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you forgot to call me. And I was like, yeah, I forgot to call you, sorry. And he's like, don't ever forget your grandfather because he never forgets you. That was the last conversation I had with him. No, I really, I used to speak to him every day. I probably didn't speak to him on Saturday because I had to work late and I probably slept late. You know, back then I was young and I used to sleep late. <laughs> and then he died on Sunday, January 10th. He was watching football, sat down to watch football. He had a massive heart attack. And like it was yesterday, I can remember this. It's just like one of those moments where I bent down to tie my shoes and I was wearing, they were like a cobalt blue Doc Martens and I bent down to tie my shoes. I was leaving for work and the phone rang and like I could see myself like bending over and tying the shoes. I heard the phone ring and it was my grandmother and she said, they're taking grandpa to the hospital. They think he had a heart attack. Well, I must have let out such a scream. I'm a Leo Moon, so you know I'm overly dramatic. My mother came running out, and I was like inconsolable. My brother, who's Leo Rising, <laughs> took off. I don't know where he went. I think he went to the hospital. And then like 10 minutes later, she called me back, and she said, don't rush over here. He didn't make it. And it was like somebody shattered my world it was so unexpected I think he was gonna be 77 he died on January 10th and his birthday was on the 19th I think he was gonna turn 77 but we really thought he was gonna to live to be a hundred really because he was so healthy I mean he exercised every day he was very active he took care of his house his lawn his pool you know um, he was very active, he drove, never had to give up driving. And his funeral, but I don't think I ever cried so much. I mean, I remember my mom waking me up because I was crying in my sleep, it was bad, yeah. Um, 
I remember his sister. Now, my grandfather grew up, he came from a family of 13, of with which only 10 lived. You know, back then, babies would die or they were maybe stillborn or something. But one baby that he always told me the story, he told me it a hundred times, that his father did not believe that his sister Louise died. He believed that the hospital had taken the baby and given it to a wealthy family and they were given their baby that died, like they were switched at the hospital. He said that he held that baby and that there was nothing wrong with her. And that's my grandfather said that he, that's the story he held on to, he, that he firmly believed there was nothing wrong with Louise. Anyway, my grandfather grew up in a family of 10 children, of which nine of them were boys and one was a girl, Aunt Mary. Aunt Mary, was she was a pisser, let me just tell you that. I mean, how could you not be growing up, up with nine boys, nine brothers? But I remember her at the funeral leaning over to me and saying, you know, just because your grandfather isn't here anymore doesn't mean that he's not around and when you really want something and you really need something or you really need him you call to him and he will hear you I, I oh, never forget her saying that to me and I could like I could see her here <laughs> like it was yesterday and the five of us my grandfather had five grandchildren I don't know which one of us cried harder there was enough not enough alcohol in New York State to make me feel better not enough alcohol in New York State. That was one of, if not the worst day of my life. It was terrible, terrible. Because I thought, what I thought really was that he was gonna grow old and eventually I was gonna take care of him. Like I was gonna live with him and I would take care of him. But I know that he wouldn't have wanted that. I know that he was very self-sufficient and he would not have wanted somebody to take care of him. And I'm glad that he went out still being able to do all the things that he wanted to do and never suffering and being in bed and being in hospital and waiting for somebody to, you know, we never had to wait for him to pass. So I'm, ha I'm grateful for that. But it was, I mean, it was terrible. Yeah. Anyway. Today is his birthday, so for the guy who wanted to remind me not to forget him, I probably think of him every day, probably more than anybody. So Grandpa, if you are watching, this is your birthday video. Happy birthday. <laughs> if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.